An Eagle Vale bomb threat leads to evacuations and one arrest. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Breaking news now from across Vale Pass, where a suspect is in custody following a late night bomb threat for an Eagle Vale apartment complex. Eagle County authorities report a search of Sun River condos on US Highway 6 found nothing and residents returned home around 2.30 a.m. That threat came to dispatch around 11 last night. Cops and firefighters evacuated the complex soon after with a Jefferson County bomb squad on standby. The suspect's name and age are pending formal charges. I-70 traffic waned for a third straight weekend down to its lowest levels in two months. Just shy of 138,000 vehicles passed through both boards of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday, the lightest traffic since the summer solstice when a June snowstorm kept crowds at bay. Daily traffic this weekend averaged 45,960 vehicles, still 5,000 more than daily averages last year. A pair of hikers and their dog got clipped out on Buffalo Mountain late Friday, leading to an overnight search and rescue mission in tricky terrain. Summit Rescue Group helped the pair to safety after the two got stuck in a couloir in Buffalo's north face. They were uninjured and safely reached the trailhead early Saturday morning. Summit Rescue Group needs a few good volunteers for ski season, and the nonprofit has partnered with Colorado Mountain College for discount training. CMC this fall offers classes just for new search and rescue recruits, including emergency medical responder and avalanche rescue. The debut Wilderness First Responder course begins in September, and all classes are discounted for future rescue volunteers. Enroll now through coloradomtn.edu. American cyclist Chloe Digert dominated the field at the Colorado Classic last week, becoming inaugural winner of the race's new female-only format. Digert took the leader's jersey Thursday in Steamboat Springs and never gave it up, claiming her fourth stage win and the overall title in downtown Denver yesterday. The Team Show Air 2020 rider also won four of four jerseys for Sprint Leader, Queen of the Mountain, and Best Young Rider. Local fire danger is high today with stage one restrictions. Fires are banned in undeveloped areas. Backyard fires and fires at established campsites are okay. In sports, the Broncos lost to the Rams Saturday 10-6. Yesterday, the Rockies lost to the Cardinals 11-4. Today, the Rockies play the Braves at 1.10 p.m. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Cross Country opened the season last Friday in Colorado Springs, up against runners from 20 schools, where Jeremiah Vale was top boy, finishing sixth overall. The Tigers had three boys in the top 15 for a fourth-place team finish. Grace Staberg was top girl in 10th. Girls team finished 13th. The high school mountain bike season opened Saturday on the Frisco Peninsula, where the Tigers varsity team took third overall, led by top three finishes from Tylee Smith and Lassie Konechny. Today, Boys soccer opens the season against Delta at home. And the golf team is in Grand Junction. And the penultimate race of the Vail Trail Running Series went down over the weekend with 10K and 5K races on Vail Mountain, where John O'Neill of Edwards won the men's in overall 10K. Maria Mendoza of Vail won the women's 10K, followed closely by Frisco's Jill Seeger. Dylan's Eric Black won the men's 50 to 59 division. Vail's Avery Smith won the men's and overall 5K. Kelsey Jork of Minturn took the women's 5K. Final race in the Vail Series is September 14th at Meadow Mountain. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.